हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर लवली गोइंग अ वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू आर ऑडियो विजुअल क्लास ऑफ मॉरल साइंस सो माय डियर किड्स टुडे आर टॉपिक इज सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट यू आर हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी सेफ एंड साउंड एंड योर फैमिलीज आर ऑल्सो गुड सो माई डियर किड्स टुडे इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट विच इज सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट वॉट इज सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट मीन्स मैनेजिंग आवर ओन सेल्स टेकिंग केयर ऑफ आवर थिंग्स आवर डेली रूटीन्स आवर बिहेवियर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ वॉट एवर वी डू सो दैट इज सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट आई नो मैनी ऑफ अस आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन आर पेरेंट्स ऑन आर फ्रेंड्स ऑन आर फैमिली टू डू थिंग्स फॉर आस विच इज़ नॉट गुड नाउ सिंस वी आर ग्रोइंग अप एंड वी आर नो मोर इन्फेंट्स और स्मॉल किड्स वी आर ग्रोइंग अप सो वी नीड टू बी सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट वी नीड टू सेल्फ मैनेज थिंग्स राइट सो टूडे इन दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट क्लास ऑफ मॉडल साइंस वी विल टॉक अबाउट सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट हाउ कैन वी मैनेज सेल्फ वंस हाउ कैन वन मैनेज वन सेल्फ सो देर आर टू थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू नो वेन्स इट कम्स टू सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट इज मैनेजिंग डेली नीड्स वट एवर वी डू ऑन अ डेली बेसिस वी शुड नो हाउ वी हैव टू मैनेज अवर डेली नीड्स वट एवर वी डू वेदर वी गो टू स्कूल वैन डू वी वेक अप वैन डू वी टेक ब्रेकफस्ट दैन वट डू वी डू नेक्स्ट वैन वी हैव टू टेक अ बाथ वैन वी हैव टू प्ले when we have to sit with family all these things and another aspect of self management is managing our emotional needs what should we do when we are angry what should we do when we are happy when should we share our happiness who should we share our happiness with where should we be greedy all the times so all these things we will be talking about today first of all i am sure that all of you are managing yourselves very well and in this pandemic and during this lockdown uh, lockdown time i am sure that you have changed your daily habits routines like you wake up early or you are in time to the class whether it's virtual class or it's a normal class in the school and then many other things like managing your timetable your schedule your daily routine your play time i hope you have mend all your ways so managing our daily needs first of all tell me who rushes in the morning among you somebody who wakes up if if the class is at 10 o'clock who gets up 5 minutes to 10 or 9:30 see if we do so we always rush and then we are not able to do anything everything gets mixed and scattered and then we are mismanaged and misplanned and when we are misplanned we don't plan well we misplan we miss we are mismanaged as well then we are not productive for example your class is at 10 you should wake up at least by 6 or 7 then take your breakfast take take a bath get fresh feel energetic do some exercise sit with your family have breakfast then check out what you are going to learn today keep all books books and notebooks ready in front of the uh, device that where you are going to take your virtual class be ready for uh, the interaction in the class so this is how we can manage our daily routines nowadays so what if if uh, what if uh, if we are not managing everything in time we always rush and when we rush our stress levels increase we are not able to do anything in time right so managing our daily needs is very very important we need to plan and manage many things to reach our school in time isn't it if we talk an example of reaching out to school or to uh, sitting before or sitting before the camera this time for virtual classroom you need to be efficient in managing yourself we should know how we have to manage ourselves isn't it and one of the best ways to do this is to get up 15 30 minutes earlier but how can we get up early if we go to bed late we watch television for late hours or we play on gadgets for late hours or we talk with our siblings and go around the whole house till late in the night so there's a famous saying early to bed and early to rise if we go early to bed we take a breakfast uh, sorry uh, dinner at around 8 o'clock then 9:30 we sleep so it's the time uh, then it will make us habitual of getting up early in the morning when we get up early in the morning then things fall in place the daily routine falls in place so here are few things and tips i have made for you to follow 
uh, a daily routine and uh, to follow or to manage things very well on a daily basis set your alarm if you find it alarm if you find it to wake up uh, difficult to wake up or don't like getting out of your bed if you find uh, you find it hard to wake up in the morning you can get a wonderful beautiful looking uh, alarm clock and uh, put it uh, next to your bed and then you can set the alarm at one particular time and when it rings you have to wake up next is take a bath every day because it makes you fresh and lively and energetic ready for the day's work and then the most important thing which children of your age usually do is you skip your breakfast remember we eat a lot of meals during the day maybe three four meals come uh, normal meals during the day we munch snacks too but breakfast is the most important thing we should never skip it if we skip our breakfast the whole day gets disturbed and then we feel very low in energy so for completing all the tasks during the day we need to have healthy breakfast the next is wear your school uniform if it is a normal day you can wear your school uniform if you're doing virtual classroom you need to dress up properly comb your hair get ready look smart and then come in front of the gadget or go to school check your bag this is very very important checking your bag keeping books and notebooks as per the timetable is very important and it is the task that you have to accomplish you have to do it yourself to become self managed and self skilled right so next we have is leave for school if you are going for going to school or coming to the virtual classroom you should leave in time you should be in time to both the places to school and to the virtual classroom this is what we call planning daily needs this is how we can plan our daily needs now let me ask you some questions have you planned how long you will play outdoors i know you all love to play outdoors you go into the garden you play with your siblings friends you go to your uh, relatives your extended family there you play with your cousins we know that we are right now going through social isolation we are away from friends and fam extended families but then we at least go to the garden to play but we should know how long there should be some duration fixed for it it should not be that once our online classes are done our school is done then when we come back home we only play 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 and play no there should be a proper time fixed for it now next question am i next question for you is for how much time you watch television is it necessary or you are just wasting time Uh, we have seen a lot of kids watching cartoon uh, networks or cartoon uh, programs for longer durations till till mid of the night it's not a good exercise we should watch tv but only for some time not for an extended time do you spend time with your parents and family members do you think it's important to spend time with them of course it's important to spend time with them because having quality time or spending quality time with your family members is very important then you spread that love and you have that affection from all of them and you also give them love love and affection that warmth uh, feeling of that warmth from the family members we get it then only so my dear kids ponder over these questions think over these things then and not shall i would like to tell you we need to plan everything nothing should be unplanned there should be a fixed time for everything nothing nothing should go beyond the limits and it should be meaningful too next i said is managing our emotional needs i know sometimes your mood is off you are restless you are angry you are sometimes greedy i want this i want that but that's not something good about life life is all about being positive we should like tackle everything in life with positivity as positive as we can be we should be positive so good moods if we are in good mood it will bring very good vibes out of our our brain our heart our body so it spreads happiness around people love to sit with you if your mood is good we should always be positive we should check the positive aspect of our behaviors like we should always be smiling talking to everyone nicely we should not be restless we should not be angry when we are too angry drink a glass of water and sit separately for some time we should not be greedy like i want this i want that i want this as well so if you want to be successful in life it is important to learn about self management people who practice good self management they find that 
those who are managing themselves very nicely they are managing everything very well they are more productive they can do more work more efficiently they are more attractive they are more loved having more energy such people have more energy to achieve whatever they want to achieve they feel less stressed if we are happy if we do everything in time we get a lot of rewards from parents friends family extended family everybody likes us we get those uh, good wishes we get those rewards people talk good of us and then our stress is also lessened it it um, it is less our stress is less we are able to do things we want to do if we want to do anything if we have planned our time well our life well it is well managed so we ought to perform our things very well so we get more things done and we relate to everyone pos uh, positively and we feel better about ourselves now all you need to do is you have a task to do you have to take a colored sheet of paper and write your daily routine from morning to evening and the time slot when do you wake up when do you go to bed what do you do during the day all the timings i hope you enjoyed this lesson take care goodbye